Hi, this is Gabriel Ortiz for the Stata YouTube channel. I'd like to show you some new features in Stata 16 for fitting non-linear mixed effects models with lags and differences. In Stata 16, you can use time series operators with the MENL command. This includes the lag, lead, and difference operators. Some applications of non-linear mixed effects models with lags and differences include pharmacokinetic models and growth models. In fact, MENL has one new feature that is particularly useful for fitting multiple dose pharmacokinetic models. You can now include lagged predicted values in your expressions with MENL by using one of the following specifications. I'll demonstrate how you can use these new features with an example using multiple dose pharmacokinetic data. I've loaded the phenobarb dataset into Stata, which contains data from a study of the neonatal pharmacokinetics of phenobarbital. In this study, each infant received one or more intravenous doses, and 1 to 6 blood serum phenobarbital concentration measurements were obtained from each infant. Other variables of interest are birth weight and a dichotomized APGAR score, which is a measure of physical condition. A one-compartment open model with intravenous administration and first-order elimination was used to model the pharmacokinetics of this phenobarbital study. The model parameters include the clearance and volume of distribution for each subject J. So we have the following model. I represents the measurement and J represents the infant or subject. Notice that concentration at time I for infant J depends on the expected concentration at time I minus 1 for that same infant. In addition, clearance and volume were parameterized using some of the covariates as follows where U1J and U2J are two independent subject-level Gaussian random effects with zero means and variances sigma squared 1 and sigma squared 2. To fit this model with MENL, I can go to Statistics and select Multi-Level Mixed Effects Models and Nonlinear Regression. Here I'll specify the dependent variable. Now you can use the expression builder to build your non-linear expressions and familiarize yourself with the syntax for MENL. But to save time, I will just type the corresponding non-linear expression directly here. And now the concentration of phenobarbital is a function of the dose divided by the volume of distribution. And we include the lagged predicted mean function or predicted value for the concentration corresponding to the previous time value. The next term is the exponentiated ratio of clearance to volume. And finally, I'll use the difference operator to include the time difference in this model. We are now done with our main nonlinear specification. Next, I'll define the parameterization of clearance and volume of distribution. So I'll click on create. And here I'll include the parameter weight times the value of weight and the exponentiated random effects. And here I'm adding the variable weight. And last, the exponentiated random effects. And for the sake of time, I won't use the expression builder for volume. I'll simply type the expression. So here we also have the parameter weight and the value of weight. And we also have the APGAR score and the dichotomized APGAR score. Last, we have the exponentiated random effects. To use time series operators, I need to specify the time variable that will be used to determine the order. So I'll click on the time series tab and select that variable. And because we are using the lagged predicted mean function, we need to specify an initial condition for the mean concentration. So here I'll specify the dose over the volume of distribution. Last, I check the box keep observations with missing dependent variable in computation. Our data have intermittent missing concentration values, which arise because concentration was not measured at the time the doses were administered. Because we have information about the doses, we must retain these observations in the computation. So now I can click OK to fit this model. 
From the coefficient table, we see that heavier babies have a higher clearance and volume of distribution. There is a positive association between the volume of distribution and the APGAR score. Healthier babies have a better ability to eliminate the drug. After our estimation, we can use PREDICT to obtain, for instance, the model predictions for the concentration. I'll store those predictions in a variable called y hat. And now we can plot the predictions and actual measurements for, say, the first four infants by typing two-way scatter, y hat versus time, and concentration versus time. The model allowed us to predict the whole trajectory of the concentration over our interval of time, even though measurements were taken only on two or three occasions. So this is how you can use the new features with MENL to fit nonlinear mixed effects models with lags and differences. If you would like to learn more about the new features for MENL and STATA 16, you can download the manual from our website at stata.com. Thank you for watching.